Hi everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead, and yes, yes, party people of YouTube, your cries, your comments, your supplications have been heard, and in this video I'm gonna share with you what we think we're going to do about our cow shelter. So let's get to it. So yes, you guys have been making so many solid suggestions uh, on what you think we should do in terms of our cow structure, goat structure. Uh, and I, I, I asked you about that material that I found and I have heard you, I have heard you loud and clear. It's a bad idea and I get it. Uh, I was kind of hopeful that it would just be cheap and someone would confirm my nuttiness and be like, no, 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 it'll work. No, that's a bad idea. Um, talked with the several people and what we have decided to do, we think, Please comment below if you're like, no, whoa, that's terrible. You're gonna make a whole horrible life altering, you know, blah. If it's really that bad, well, say if it's bad or good, please comment down below and say, yes, you got a good idea, no, you don't. What we're gonna do, or what we plan to do, is we're gonna make a three-sided building, like a, I don't know what, there's a word for them, um, but basically a three-sided building with a sloped top on it. Uh, eight foot tall, seven foot in the back, shingle it up, plywood on the sides, sand floor with uh, straw that we will muck out. We're probably going to use pallets for, um, to, to make the actual individual stalls. And um, well, that's generally the plan right now. We're thinking it will go right over here, somewhere in the yard. Now that is one handsome looking dude, yeah. And uh, well, I'm gonna show you what our plans look like. We're thinking, thinking this'll be pretty solid. All right, so here's the plan. Basically, we're looking at a building that's gonna have sides uh, on three sides and a roof that'll be slanted, eight foot on one side, seven foot at the back, uh, pressure treated you know, on the bottom and anywhere that it would touch the ground. Uh, looking at the roof section, I'm gonna basically make it 16 by eight and um, right there and well here what we're thinking for how the animals will reside we'll have a cow pen that's six by six and then the goat pens we'll have one that's slightly larger for a kidding pen now this is outside we basically have that old goat pen that's chain link and i'll figure out a way to put some kind of sides on it and a top but we're going to use that for hay storage so yeah so all in all if my calculations are correct this building should cost us about $547 with tax, insurance, title tag, and the whole nine yards yippy skippy. Say what? Yeah. Did he say $500? Yeah, I did say $500. Uh, we looked at the idea of trying to build some pallet kind of structure. And um, while that would be a lot cheaper, obviously, the issue is we're supposed to get our cow um, yeah, tomorrow. So uh, while we won't be able to finish building this uh, overnight, it might take us a couple days, but um, a pallet construction kind of thing would be a much, much longer term in terms of time building the situation. Because, uh, you know, it's cool and all, but it takes a load of time pulling them pallets apart, getting it right, measuring everything out, making sure everything's cut the same way. And so we kind of thinking we got to bite the bullet on this. Um, but yeah, so whew, the good news for us is the, um, the shed that we were going to have delivered, we're no longer going to have, have it delivered, obviously, because this is our option. Uh, unless you say otherwise, hmm, I don't know, comment down below. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're having the, uh, we're stopping the delivery of the shed and our deposit on the shed was nearly $500, so we only have to come up with a couple bucks in order to make this thing happen. Yay! Now, all of that said and done, um, what do you guys think? I think this is the right idea. Obviously that paint stuff that we were gonna use, the roof tar, that's, that was a bad idea. I was, honestly, I was kinda pie in the sky hoping someone would confirm my, hey, no, you can use the cheap stuff and be a cotton-headed ninny muggins, sure. I, I secretly didn't think it was gonna work out, but I had hoped, because it was cheap. So I'm gonna take that back too. But um, anyway, so I, this is, this is mo it's gonna be mobile. We'll be able to move it. Sure, it'll be heavy, but we'll still be able to move it. It's not gonna be anchored to the ground, which also, by the way, makes it legally compliant. 
because we're not putting it on a, a concrete slab. So the sand and the straw will have to muck it out, but I think this is the way to go. I've talked with Danny over there at Deep South Homestead and several other people. John Lord, Lord John, a uh, lot of folks have been giving really, really solid advice and you talked me out of a bad move and I'm hoping this is a good move. You let me know what you think and they're booyah, yippee skippy. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead. You guys have an amazing day. Hi Claire. Hi. How are you? Good. So tell me about this cow. You excited about this milk and madness? Yes. What is the first thing you plan to milk? Milk? The cow? Yes. <laughs> what are you going to do with that aforementioned milk when you acquire it? I'm going to drink it. Oh. Drink the milk. Likely story. Dun dun dun!